Oh, okay, hold on a second. See starvation, killing demon again. Yeah. Let's give him, let's take a look at the schedule. Let's, where is he at? Uh, oh, chaos, first of all, should be a morning person. So we'll do morning shift for chaos. Uh, killing demon is a night person. I think killing demon does need an extra block of downtime. He is going to be our pilot after all. Maybe we'll give him a block of downtime in the morning, right after he's done taking a shower. And then we'll have another block of downtime at night. You know, we'll do two blocks. There we go. So he's getting spoiled. Night shift is getting spoiled. <laughs> uh, it's two two hours that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have people working. Shove the shit in the shower crates. <laughs> yeah, just pull the grate and just poop in it. <laughs> you don't have to push it through. <laughs> It's shit in it. Oh my god. Alright, how's this temperature doing over here? Uh I wanna say it's getting better. It's 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 under it's under the freezing point. So that's really what we want. Um This block over here. I swear this little block right here that I keep on testing is my test area is just never gonna change. But something over here, I wanna say it was like 50 degrees Celsius or something. Pardon me, uh like over here somewhere. 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And there is no 50 degrees Fahrenheit anywhere here. So it, we know for a fact that we at very least got um, something going on there. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Here we go. So gas coming out at what temperature? Uh, immediately converts down to 28 degrees. And as it exits, it's coming out at 28 degrees. Is that, uh, let me see, 29 degrees, 29 degrees. Excellent. And what does it come out at? One little blue cup. So now we got to turn up the the output from over here. This is starting to fill up a little bit, so we could go ahead and do that. So we'll make this a thousand. Something going to come down and take care of that. Look at hug shot. Done. I can overlook the random pee pee in the shower, but a poopy do. <laughs> a poopy do. Oh, man, I remember that one. I like that. All right, let's wait till we get some water in here. Uh, it doesn't matter what what temperature the oxygen is going out because it's only like one little puff of air, and we need to have these things like cranking. Thankfully, though, we do have some oxygen coming out of these things, so we do have some uh, some backup oxygen going out. I would like to get another dupe right now, but at the same time, I don't want them <laughs> sucking up all my air. All right, so let's go ahead and see where the water is. Water is coming in. Yeah, okay, so we got larger globules right about... Yeah, here we go. So, good. So, we're coming in at about 147 degrees, which is about what we expect. And it's going to immediately cool, but it's going to cool a little bit slower. Um, all right, so instead of coming out at 30 degrees, it's coming out at about 110 degrees. It kind of bounces around, but it's pretty much 110 to 115. Uh, let's see what it gets when it exits. Who's starving? Keeps going away. Your hatch hatches are running luck. I haven't done anything with those hatches. Mitch Ball, thank you so much. 50 degrees. Okay, so it comes out at 50 degrees. That's that's fine. But I'm not mad. It was 30 degrees before. It was borderline freezing, so I'm fine with that. Mitch Ball, thank you so much. Forever lost and found. Thank you for that. Eight months. I appreciate that. Hmm. Now we should see, okay, we're getting a little bit more air out of this, uh, but how much oxygen are we losing to the machine? Not much. I do wonder, though, if doing it this way is actually hurting it. Because remember, it has to be kind of like, like, given an option to go in there, not necessarily forced. Because of the way that they do liquid in this game, in this dang game. So let's go up and around, and then we'll go down like that. That'll, uh... That'll learn them. Right there. Yeah, I haven't done any ranching or anything yet. Uh, I swear I'm gonna do it eventually. Promise. I can't cut these wires, by the way, because of these hoses yet, because uh, that radium pipe will back up and it will burst. So we'll wait for them to finish this. There we go. And then we'll just go snip snip, and then snip snip. There we go. I think that's, uh, better? No? Is that gonna... Is anything going in? Okay, now it's, it's taking some. Just, wow, just some. Hmm. Uh, 20 smooth hatches, 10 stone hatches, 20 hat. Wow, holy crap. 
don't have any of that stuff. I'm so boring at this game. Alright, so this is not putting out anywhere near the amount of oxygen that we need to survive long term. <laughs> because we're not pumping in enough water to make it happen. So I think we gotta crank up the water, uh, input some more. Because, yeah, it's just not enough. We have plenty of water to go through. We have lots. And we still, have to, we still clean this and just pump that back in there and do whatever we want. Like, we have so much water. Um, let's make this, let's make a 3,000. Larger than we've done. And, the, yeah, the most flow that we've done, that, that we have done so far. Oh, how's this doing, by the way? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I think it's working. Hmm. You know what to do often to do time zones and such, but tonight I found, you know, I found you. We found each other. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad that you, uh, that you thought of me and you stopped, you stopped by and for the support. Let's, uh, let's see. That water should be getting here. Big balls, big balls. Where is it at? Is this it here? Let me see. Uh, 3,000. Yep. Let me see. 1,000. Okay. So 1,100 going in. At 157 degrees, 3,000 going in at 165 degrees. So we added by by tripling the amount of uh, of uh, water flow, we have increased it by it looks like probably 13 degrees Fahrenheit. 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh boy, it's getting warm. 15 degrees Fahrenheit and steady. Okay, and coming out, it's uh, you know 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. But those larger globules are coming right here. Uh, let's see. Water is 114 degrees, 115 degrees, 100 degrees. So that's a little bit more than I would like. That's easily solid, I think, with just like one or two pieces of radiant in the right spots, and that'll pretty much take care of that. I think I'd probably up here, especially up there in this hydrogen, will be a good spot to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Radiant. Uh, let me see. High thermal conductivity. I believe that's probably what we want. We'll just do like one, two. Mm, uh oh. Why does it do that? Is there anything else? <laughs> Alright. Alright, radiant pipe. Uh, radiant pipe, try again. Let me see, good. And then we'll go one, two. And then maybe across the top here. It is nice and cool up here, so we'll do a one, two there. And they should do that. Uh, what's, what's their... Yeah, yeah. They'll do that really quick, actually. Well, there's two of them before they actually do some more work. Yeah, now the water's cooled down now, uh, 80 degrees. That's probably enough. Let's go ahead and just cancel that and that. Good. At least I keep up with your news on YouTube. Well, good! That's my best show. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Oh, I am glad. That's good. Clean that shit up. Clean that shit up, too. And that. All that stuff. This is at three times speed. Chaos should not be allowed over here. He does not have the skills to operate. Oh, look at Killing Demon! We fixed them! I don't know how, I don't know how, but we fixed them. He's happy and he's got plenty of room for growth, but we're not going to do any of that yet. Wow. Is anybody else that's under? No, nobody else. Everybody else is uh, good. Okay, good. Chaos. Well, we gotta fix chaos. Chaos needs um, medicine. Oh, he could be a doctor, huh? Bedside manner. Oh. Let's do that. He can start making medicines once we get that thing set up. He should not. He should not be allowed to use a suit, though. Um, how do I? How do I stop him from using a suit? How does that work? Priorities. Storing, doctoring, talking, life support. Is there a way to there's there is a way to stop them from using a suit, right? Cause damn. Clearance vacancy. Suited duplicates may only pass if there is available to okay, no. Hmm. Operating? No, because he can still death. <laughs> That'll fix the problem. <laughs> I'll fix him right up. How are we doing on phosphorite, by the way? We actually haven't gone through that much phosphorite, so obviously my math was bad. So good. Oh, yeah, it's because, duh, it was 4,700, uh, it's basically 4 million grams. Okay, yeah, so we have, like, 100 days worth or so. 
give or take maybe a thousand uh yeah i think we're good what's the oxygen coming out we got some oxygen coming out look at this look at this it's gonna get held up here which is fine and then it's gonna go out into our base excellent <sighs> okay Obviously, the algae is pretty much carrying us right now. I do believe we have a ton of algae just overall on the base. Let me see. Consumable, organic. Yeah, we have tons of slime. At the very least, we have tons of slime. Door and permissions. Yeah, door would do it, huh? Just kill one of these Atmos suit dots and then uh, get a door in there. It's not a terrible idea. I don't think I really have anything over there that require to have three dupes suited at any given time. It would just make any kind of expansion jobs on that side take a little bit slower, a little bit longer. But, you know, he, he really, 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 really does not need to be uh, using a suit anytime soon. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can make like a dupe detector and whenever it detects him specifically, it shuts off the machine. So he walks over the machine, it just turns off where he gets there. He's kind of like, huh? <laughs> this is working a second ago. What the hell's going on? Uh, turn off his fan. Can't find the right. There we go. Good. It's a little too chilly. Yeah, so we'll look into a door and see how that works. You know what? It also could be that we gave him more time off and that helped him a little bit. Lindsay is now the one that's uh, high in stress. That's fine. Lindsay's always high strung. In the game. <laughs> Although, I feel like she would tell you, Look at these dicks! Why? I had nothing to do. I get it, but Jesus. Alright, let's, uh, how about we just give him a bunch of mining jobs? Let's look around and see what else we can mine. Why can't they reach this? Unreachable dig. That's bull. That's, oh, yeah, because this one, there you go. Uh, yeah, let's just give them just some jobs. Make them work. Go here, here, here. here. Go across here as well. Don't you want to chill in the city? Yeah. Do you like having cool feet? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Yeah, how do I get them to stay in an area, though? Like, whenever they're chilling. Like, if they have nothing to do, instead of walking around down here. I guess, I guess if I build a rec room, well, the rec room is over here. What other rooms are there? Let's see. Greenhouse, stable, recreation room, park, nature reserve. Maybe a park? Hospital, massage clinic. Uh-huh. There, there is, I have a water cooler right here, but they weren't hanging out next to it. Uh-oh. Oh, goddamn boots. <laughs> oh man okay they're gonna finish that off like super quick so we have to find something else for them to do why don't they come up here and uh dig some of this stuff out can you have any use for oh it's just sand actually yeah so i guess they could come up here and take care of it they could get out pretty quickly as well let's go ahead and have them dang it let's go ahead and have them uh so maybe get some of the, open this up a little bit get some of that sand something just came in what if I should have them come up here just really quickly, just get some of this mafic rock? I don't know what you would do with it. What's the temperature of this stuff? 149 degrees. Nah. Eh. Nah. I do need to get some uh, jet suits going, though. Can they destroy all this stuff? They can't destroy that. I had to use the... the I had to use hacks in order to make that shit go away. Nothing takes me out of a game like watching what is supposed to be a fairly intelligent person stressing out about their surroundings while standing in a side room full of batteries wired the transformers. What? Put answer wheels down, connect it to the ceiling lights, and no battery. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was like, why would I do that? I get it. That's pretty genius. Why does this thing is this I wish I could just I'm just gonna delete this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna hack delete this thing. How did I do that again? <laughs> fill. I'm gonna fill it with uh nothing, I think. Paint? I'm just go paint. Okay, I don't know what I just made. What I just made. Element. What's the element? I'll make it like water or something. Water liquid, here we go. So water. No, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sample, 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 uh, 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 this. Oh, God. 
sample this and then paint. I never use the dev tools. I really have no idea how to use this shit. Spawn all, store, compare, clear for, deconstruct. That's not gonna work. Destroy? I'm afraid I hit this. Uh, I see. Oh, hydrogen. Let's change. Oh, wait. I thought I took... Well, it's water. Let's choose, like, a brick or something. A brick of, like, regular stuff. You see, this is all, like, liquids. Oh, it's all elements, huh? Never mind. Uh, that's not gonna help me at all. Need a... Unless... Unless I say, like... Oh, ceramic. Solid. Boom. Ta-da. Done. Alright, cool. And that door. Okay, I guess I can't get rid of the door. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, get all this stuff out of here. I don't even know what I made, but good. Oh, let's get rid of the thing before I... Spoiler alert. Paint a giant dick, that's how you get used to the tool. That's what I should do. <laughs> of course, why didn't I think of that? 21.3 tons of algae. Plenty to go around for now. How much water did that put out? How much water did I... Oh my god, the base is like flooding. <laughs> How much water did I put up there? Oh, it's not that much. Meh. There's like three or four sparkles bottles worth of uh, of water. God, speaking of, look at this. Oh man. This is going to continue to do this, isn't it? Is there just no way? I mean, this water is not going anywhere, so I can't like put a mesh tile here and let it go. I'll have to like figure another way to get rid of this water. It doesn't matter if it's building up over here, honestly. Uh, how is the oxygen coming out? Not a whole lot of oxygen coming out. The water coming in is coming out at a decent temperature, which is fantastic. We could probably increase that a little bit. It's going over here and it's going to get backed up. If it starts getting backed up, we're going to have another problem on our hands. I watched Brothagar just hammering out the dev tool with every hockey committed to muscle memory and have no idea what the fuck he's doing. Oh, I bet. Brothagar, of course. I Man's probably a maniac with the uh, with the dev tool. Let's go ahead and increase this again to four thousand. Let me make it five thousand. That way we could. I think that'll actually top it off. I can't imagine we're gonna get much water out of these. Even though we have a ton of these things pumping, I think we're gonna probably top it out. So, yeah, it's twenty nine hundred is actually the most we're gonna get out of this. Remember, it's entirely obviously visually you could tell it's entirely passive the way I'm collecting water here. I could actually put another layer up here, <laughs> like a couple like kind of spread out. But nah, that's silly. Plus, I'd also have to, my dupes like go underwater, scalding hot water, so that's not gonna work out anyways. Uh, stress, is that just Lindsay? She's fine. That should be good. Wow, we actually maxed out the water. Huh. I wonder if... Nah. If this, if, if we end up filling up these reservoirs, then we got to find something else to do with that. But until then, Let's go ahead and start building a rec room area, another rec room area up here, and hopefully they use it. So, let's see, first let's go ahead and destroy these, and then we'll move those down here out of the way. We should probably go ahead and move this, um, I mean, we have the, the carbon skimmer here that's supposed to be taking this, uh, this little bits of carbon and getting rid of it. We do have these down here that are really not getting a whole lot of love, so maybe we should just go ahead and reroute that, that way we can have some more room for the carbon to, uh, carbon dioxide to go. Let me see, ventilation. So let's go ahead and just do, oh, not radiant, regular. And we'll just go over and down. And we'll just dump it like right in the middle. And let's make this a little bit neater. Let's go, boop. There we go. Now we can get rid of this. And this. And that, it's in there somewhere. Gas bridge, oh, it's already deconstructed, good. And then we're gonna take this carpet skimmer and hopefully we can just get rid of it. It's just, it's just making dirty water, which is fine, but I don't really need it. Well, there's a lot of clean water in there. What the fuck is dropping clean water? Huh. I'll get rid of that vent, too. So good. Now these things should all be happy. Using carbon dioxide. I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago. Oh, because we had so much carbon dioxide to deal with. We, we couldn't. The, these things were overwhelmed. Uh, you just wanted a cold biome to be your favorite color scheme. <laughs> it is. It's getting there. Let's see what it Look at that. <laughs> it is. Man. Come on. Who doesn't like the, the pink and blue? 
So, so this thing's actually losing the fight against uh, against the gas that we're putting out here. But what is the temperature of the gas coming out? I mean, it's not even putting out any. Um, God, I wish I had another one of those things. How do you... Can you actually learn those? Like, learn how to make these? Or you just find them? Does anybody know? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and do... do, 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 do. There's got to be a better solution than what I'm doing here with all these damn bins. Oh, I guess I don't need these ladders anymore. Deconstruct that one. Deconstruct this one. And then... I know there's like the automated storage system or whatever and conveyors and all that stuff, but I've never messed with those. I should, though. You can only find them. Great. There's a model that you build them. Okay, even better. Um, to be honest, it's funny how useful poop is and Don't Starve and how unuseful it is in Oxide Included. It is, actually, yeah. I mean, outside of, like, recycling your, your, your dupe's waste, like, yeah, it's, for the most part, it's pretty useless. <laughs> I have never had a Capri Sun last this long. Usually it's like just one go. One gulp, it's done. Oh my god. I forgot that I had those things behind me just to get the shit out of me. <laughs> just glanced back. Oh my god. Um, oxygen is getting is getting good. This this thing's getting over pressure, but we're not we're still back up here, so I don't have to worry about that. If that starts to get backed up, then we're gonna take another look at it and see what we could do. Uh, this looks like a great opportunity to go ahead and take this suit out. Cause is there even anybody over here using the suits? Or do I just have one? Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Yeah, delivery suit empty. Okay, cool. So we will deconstruct that and we'll replace it with um, just a small tile and. Uh, let me see. Yeah, probably an airflow tile and then one door. And they would keep people, uh, keep people out of there. But, like, do this, though. Dupes. Dupes. So this whole time I have been operating off of just three suits. So there's no reason to worry about... I uh, may use a pneumatic door, actually. Because a lot of people out of, out of a pneumatic door. And I'm not really worried about gases kind of interchanging, because this is kind of a nice runoff for the, uh... uh for the uh, carbon dioxide to go anyways. At the very least, I could just stop killing demon. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, chaos. You're not allowed in there. Done. All right, so all that stuff is moved. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's... How much carpet do we have? Do we have enough to <laughs> lay carpet across the whole thing? Let me see. No, I can only do about, uh, about 10. Okay, so we'll make it out of something else. Metal tile. Nope. That's really expensive. Insulated tile. How about just regular tile then? <laughs> Everything is so expensive. Uh, decor. Okay. Do I need the mesh tile? I don't think so. They really don't like that mesh tile anyways. Oh, what happened? Go straight across there. And we could go... One, two... Three... One, two, three... We're gonna have to move that eventually. Farts just sink through the mesh tile. <laughs> but we're gonna have, uh... What? We're gonna have doors, uh, pneumatic doors anyway, so. Let's go ahead and kill this. We may rebuild it somewhere else, but for now. Good. So let's go ahead and try to make it fancy. They can't reach the top, unfortunately, so this is gonna take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work to get everything. Can they reach from there? No, I don't think so. So we'll have to go, uh, and then, uh, and then we'll do just like every two, I think. This is basically our scaffolding for this setup. Hmm. Can they reach? We'll go up here like this. I can't put one here. Yeah, I cannot. Ah, uh, the damn thing's in the way. Can't go up. Uh, we'll do this. They can do their gonna kill this. That way they could put the crown molding up. We could put all the stuff in here. A parkour course. It's exactly what it is. No base will be complete without. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is put down a... What is it under? Utilities. Oh, my drywall's under utilities. Decor plus 20%. Oh, god, I don't have a whole lot of that. Actually, I just used the last of it. Alright, good to know. Ceramic. That seems excessive, especially because the overheat temperature is so high. I'm definitely not gonna use that. Uh, sandstone. Looks like sandstone it is.
Got it all. Okay. Who is starving? Lindsay! Why? Oh, because she's <laughs> taking too long in the can. Please go eat something, Lindsay. All right, so they're going to get all those, dr those drywall tiles done. And then we're going to start. Once they're done with that, then we actually just go ahead and put the uh, crown molding up and everything, too. So, because that's definitely going to happen. Mm, crown molding. Put, uh, we'll make it out of... Everything's going to be out of sandstone. It's fine. It'll all add up in the end. And then sandstone crown molding all the way across the top. It's going to be fancy. It's going to be fancy. Eat something but not in there. Please, please, Lindsay. Everything's reachable. Fantastic. Good. So it'll just take them a little while to get through that. But they will. How are we doing everywhere else? How's the temperature here? I mean, this is manageable. Like, the the temperature, it's, it's kicking off and on depending on when the batteries are full. So, I mean, it's totally manageable. Down here, it's getting a little warm, but 97 degrees, it's nothing. Like, we're still operating at a fairly low-tech... Uh, in a fairly low-tech world here. Like, nothing is... I mean, we're, we're passively cooling, we're passively collecting water. Although, it, I feel like we're, we're losing, we are overall losing the fight down here. And it's because of the way that I'm running the, uh, the oxygen past the, the, the anti-entropy, the ATM. So I wonder if I should, instead of going straight through there, if I should just, if I should actually go back around and start using the rest of this to passively cool. Like, maybe start using some of this space up here. Because this, this little ball of heat, that's too much. That's just too much. I'm trying to think if that's... Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll do this regular gas pipe, and we'll just start extending it out to the left. And then we'll do something that is... Uh, is he slow heating? Oh, re temperature? Is he thermally reactive? We'll do that. Nah. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Yeah, so we'll go up. Then over, we're gonna have to cut a hole somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Try not to use too much of the... Or not to break too much of the existing... Stuff? <laughs> Ice? Oh, that's weird. Maybe... Is that granite or is that... I don't know, but... We're going to bring this down anyways. They'll be able to reach. I'll put a ladder up and they'll be able to reach it. They're mad about something over there. Should we go? Boop. <laughs> uh, that way, yeah, that way we can not take away anything from this and just do everything all the way out here. That's going to take forever to do. It'll be fine. The title, what happened? Oh, well... <laughs> Technically, one dude did, in fact, make it to space. It was a one-way trip. Um, and it was not in a rocket ship. Oh, I totally missed this. Sandstone. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Happy needs some sandstone, I guess. Uh, this thing's getting backed up, but is it backed up, backed up? Ah, it's hard to get backed up. So this is going to be a problem eventually, because if it gets backed up all the way, then this thing's not going to be able to put anything out, and that means we're not going to get any hydrogen to run the machine over to cool everything. So we do have to put another vent over here. Plastic would be great. I think now-ish is a good time to start thinking about where to put that plastic. Something to make plastic. Maybe we'll put it like right under here. It's nice and green right here. We got a nice little barrier of abyssalite. Let's go ahead and see. It, it, it takes, it's going to eat up a lot of heat, so... Um, it's going to generate a lot of heat. So what is that under then? Uh, not a jet suit dog. None of this stuff. It's under refining. Re refinement. Polymer press. Petroleum into raw. Oh, I don't even have any petroleum. Oh, shit. Uh, isn't there like a petroleum distillery or something? Ethanol distiller? It's ethanol. Kiln. Oil refinery. Petroleum. Crude oil. So we need to get crude oil. There's only one place that I know of where there's crude oil. It's right over here. And there's the guy, there's a reservoir actually right there. <clears throat> I'm like, she's making their voice look so happy. Does that? I didn't even notice it. <sighs> it just does have a kind of a weird face, doesn't it? 
I wonder if it's time to start sending dupes on a bit more of a exploration journey. Like, I'll just map this out here. Mm, make it like a five. What was that? Colony achievement earned. Oh, what did we get? One year to be exact. Oh, 365. Hey, cool. All right. Good to know. One year to be exact. It's hydrogen. It's fine if that gets out. We go down here. Then we get cut across. Open the door. It's fine. It'll submit bio scan or something. Door cannot be manually controlled. Okay, we'll just deconstruct it. <laughs> get out of our way. And then I can send them. This is all chlorine. That's yeah, chlorine. Yeah, the, this I'm fine with the hydrogen getting out, but the chlorine could definitely just wait. Oops. So what I'm trying to do is, is basically make my way over here to this area so I can start getting some of this, get the oil reservoir out and start getting that stuff um, pumped. I think it needs clean water. Uh, basically clean water and a power line, and that's pretty much it. I think that's all it needs. I can send a dupe to basically run back and forth. It won't take too long. Once it's set up, it'll pretty much run itself, I think. Um, and again, there's so much, I mean, there's so much crude oil here. We could use a drain pipe to collect it, actually. That way we don't have to, we, we don't have, to have a pump using power, because it's not just a pump. It's a pump, it's a sensor with automation, so it needs power as well, to determine whether or not there's even oil to pump. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just, no, it's just too much stuff. So, pump and dump. No, pump, pump and... And convert into usable materials, which in this case is going to be petroleum, I guess, because we need plastics. We can't do anything about plastics. So this is this is a this is not something we can just kind of gloss over. This is something we have to do. Oh god, there's chlorine all over this thing. We're going to be cutting holes and all kinds of shit here. I think we'll have to just I'll have to bring them over here and then just kind of watch them and see how, what they're. Oh never mind, I could see there is a hole we could dig here. Can't get too close to the top because then it'll collapse. I believe they could get through this. It's just too. So let's do this for a bit. And then we'll go straight across. So we can go straight underneath. We'll stay underneath this. Uh... Wow, it's really hot in there. Oh my god. 208 degrees. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So we're gonna go like just underneath the maybe we'll cut through all this granite here. Obsidian. Obsidian is nice, but but I do want this to stay about as secure as it possibly can. You get this huge thing of a bit light going across right here. So that that's never gonna break, right? So I'm not really worried about things breaking necessarily, but I do want to get this oil out and down where it's in a usable space. There's diamond here as well. Holy crap. So I think like this point of entry would be perfect. And then we can go down, we could core all this stuff out. We could you know, pop this and get all this down here, and we could set up just kind of a nice catch of just nothing but drain pipes down here. It's only Vegas. Well, it's only Vegas. <laughs> 200 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> it feels like that. I wish you could draw diagonal lines. There we go. Okay. So that's the plan, guys. Uh, we're gonna run power and everything, but we got to get this crude oil out. We got to get because we, we can't even. I don't think we can make. We can't make plastic. We can't. No, we can't make. Uh, we need to make steel still. Uh, I don't even. Still, I don't know how to make that. Um, but we also need plastics for like half the shit that we end up building, especially if we're going to space. I think all the uh, and we need glass too. So we got to get the glass floor. Oh my god, there's so many things we got to do. Oh hey, but this area is done. Let's go ahead and get. Uh, let me see. Let me deconstruct da -da 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 buildings. Does the background kind of spill? No, it does not. Okay, good. Good. Have you found the oxygen? I'm looking. I'm looking still. Stick around. We'll go on a journey <laughs> to find it. Uh, soda fountain needs what? Liquid intake, carbon dioxide. Let's do some of the passive stuff first. Let's do uh, let's do a jukebox. It's not passive. <laughs> jukebox, no arcade cabinet. Come on, guys. Come on, hurry up. Someone get over here and break these things down. All of them! Thank you. 
Uh, espresso machine. Sure, open an espresso machine up here. No, no, this is all power stuff. Let's just do power stuff. And a water cooler. Yeah, and a water cooler. Water cooler could be, uh... What else? Was there anything else we could put here? A juicer needs water... Possession water intake? Oh no, this is it. Liquid intake pipe. Okay, so we have we have a, we have to have like a, a break room that has plumbing. We have plenty of plumbing right here. No, because we're actually gonna use that water and that's gonna take away from that system. So we'll we'll come back to that. We'll just put a thing here. Be right next to it. Put a ceiling light in or something. Let me see. Let me put one. Oh, I killed all the damn fuck. Oh, I can't put it up there anyways. It's fine. Uh, I, just, I, I realized that we didn't have, I didn't, I, I, I took out the ladders so they can't do that. Oh man, this would be perfect. That would illuminate this whole section right here. I still have time. Let me see. Furniture. Arcade cabin. We'll put one gap. Gap. Good. And then we'll put the water cooler down. Uh, right next to, right, right next to it. That way it gets the benefit of the the lamp, ish. Oh yeah, it'll get. They'll definitely get some benefit here. Okay, and then it's gonna need power. All of this is gonna need power, so we'll just go straight across. Nine hundred and sixty watts. Did you see that? Oh my god! I might have to limit their use. <laughs> Holy crap! Nine hundred and sixty watt. Meanwhile, the light's like eight. Um, uh, that's one hell of a boombox, man. It's got, I mean, it's got a five-point equalizer. Yeah. I want to see what, the, what, what, if they actually end up coming over here and using it. Let me see. What is the feng shui in here? It's still pretty terrible. It's probably because of this, because we have this stuff in it. We should probably move this somewhere else. But, wait, oh, never mind. I know exactly where. Um, yeah. I, I can't imagine we're going to use that forever, because we're, we're going to have so much algae to work with. We'll put it right here, and then we'll, uh, hopefully we can leave the, uh, we can leave that there. The actual, uh, storage unit. The area is, the storage bin is taking away a little bit. Mm, yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and actually do something here. Storage bin. I had a kick of sound for the parties. Yeah, I know. We'll see what happens when um when they go, someone goes on break <laughs> and then all of a sudden everything shuts down. <laughs> break type kicks in. It's just kind of just killing demon. Just go into the break room and just the whole base is shuts down. Oh man! Come on, guys, build it. Build the other building right now. Okay, good. So let's make this and we'll just say copy settings. Boom. And then for this, we're gonna deconstruct. Here we go. Super easy, move everything over. Look at them go. Look at them go. Boom, baby. Neuro tip! 36 months, three years. Thank you so much for that constant support. Much appreciated. Briar C, let's take it. Anything that's not a person. Oh, oops, I never did, uh, let me see, copy settings. There we go. Oh, look at him go! Killing Demon is so happy! Don is happy, he's happy, right? Okay, yeah! Doop, 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 doop. Hey, hey, and the whole base didn't shut down. Uh-oh, what is this? Overloading. <laughs> Golly, I wonder why, guys. That didn't take long at all, did it? 4,000. Oh, it's joules. I guess, what is, how does that measure to, to, to watts? What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean in watts, guys? It's 4,000, isn't it? Isn't it just like a direct? Let me see. Uh, 4,000 kilojoules. Potential power consume max. Oh, maximum save with two. Okay, so only two. Yikes. That's um. Well, that makes sense. Why that? Why why that thing almost exploded? There's all kinds of other stuff over here too that use that's using power. So we may have to put another circuit in. 
and separate a couple things. That's a very different ratio. Please, please tell me. I have no idea. But look at look at the second they kick on that that jukebox or play the arcade, they're gonna blow. They're gonna blow a fuse. I want to see it happen though. What time is it? Uh, middle of the day. Somebody. The night shift's gonna be going on um, break here in a second. Yeah, meanwhile, let's go and get rid of this. Fast forward here. Come on, someone's going on a break. Middle of the day. God, they really love standing in that corner. I'm about to put up a wall. <laughs> so they can't... Tired of their bullshit. <laughs> Would somebody go take a break? Oh my god, what's going on with my... Um... Okay, okay, lunch. Get lunch. And then... Talk like for reals. No one wants to party? No one wants to party? You know I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, a watt is joules over time. Watt equals joules per second. Oh, okay. Oh my god, they finished it. Oh, no, they almost finished it. Yeah, there's that's right. There was a couple points I, I figured they would need help getting to. Um, so that'll do. That'll take care of those. And, well, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. They can't reach that, of course. Just one ladder will take care of that problem there. Why does it say, oh, it's un un unbreathable, not unreachable. Which means we can go ahead and kill those. Is there power out in the break room? Oh, you mean like, is there a fuse blown? No, there's power. The light's still on. Starvation, who and why, Woofy. Uh, just because you haven't gotten eat yet. Potential load is twice. Yeah, so look, I mean, the potential load is tw two times, more than two times what it is that um, that thing could support. So at 2,000 watts. So I, yeah, we do have to split it up, but I mean, not everything's running at the same time. I think what we should do is create another circuit where we keep all of the rec room stuff, all the recreational stuff separate, except for the skill scrubber or whatever we decide to put over here temporarily while we work on stuff. Uh, so we'll basically cut the power here and we'll just have food and bas basically just cut it right here. So that way all this stuff runs on a separate circuit. So we have to put another, uh, another transformer in and then route power to that, which is, I mean, that's not gonna be very hard. Just put like one right here and then run it straight up. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do a large transformer and that guy will go right here mm, or maybe over here. And then, how much, I don't think it matters, but there's, there's walkway right there that we could take advantage of, so let's do that. Uh, that thing's not going to use anything crazy, it's airflow, maybe, it was a hundred, yeah, it's a hundred. Still though, it's a hundred. <laughs> and then, conductive wire, so the conductive wire will connect. Up here, it's going to give us guff initially, which is fine. What is iron? We could go iron hunting soon. And then we're going to snip. We'll snip. So up here. Oops. Go through here. And then we'll snip these wires right here. So. Good. So that'll keep that separate. This over here needs to be split up somehow. I'm not sure if I want to... You know what? That's a recreational, technically. So... Uh, and this never runs. I don't think we ever use this damn thing. Uh, but I'll go and cut it right here. Done. Good. So that'll keep things... Oh, oops. Uh, still need to put power to this thing. Heavy watt wire. I can afford that for sure. Let's see. Okay. So that'll take care of itself. Let's go take, take a look at what's going on over here. It looks like it's done. But we're not getting anything through it. Is it because we don't have enough water going through it? We have water going through it, but none of the water is actually going into the damn thing. Max gas pressure. Oh, no. <sighs> Hydrogen generator. Hydrogeny. That's got to happen. Because we. I mean, it's great that we have all this hydrogen in here and it's cooling off and everything, but there's too much. <laughs> There's a little bit too much. And these things are full too? Yeah. Wow. 
So we, we do need to do something with all this excess hydrogen. Question is, where do we want to put this thing? I say we put it like right up in here. It's separate from this. There's, yeah, not going to put it down here. All the nasty water is. You can use the vacuum right underneath it. I could, I could, but I want to, I don't want to waste it if I have an opportunity to, you know, to, to use it. Um. I think I know what I'm gonna do. 